Hello there, it's Warren Hewitt again. Hope you're all doing marvellously well. And today I'd like to talk about recording bass guitar. Here we have a lovely bass guitar. It's actually a, a relatively inexpensive bass that I use a lot. It's a, it's a Fender Jazz bass, but it's a Mexican made one. We're going to be using this uh, 1073 made by BAE. Uh, it's about $1,000. That's not a small amount of money. But what I love about this particular mic pre, it allows me to do a lot of things. With the mic input here, I can record vocal, obviously an acoustic guitar, you know, whatever I like, electric guitar. And then of course I got the DI inputs where I can use for bass, or I could even DI an electric guitar as well and use some of the onboard plugins on the DAW. It's a class A, incredibly well made pre that will pretty much get you by in any situation. It's a really simple setup. I'm just going straight into the front with my quarter inch cable into the DI here. I'm coming out of this into an M box and that is going into a laptop. So here we are, we're in record. Um, and here's our mic pre here. Now it's got two ways to control it. You've got the input sensitivity, the input gain, and then the output volume, which is going to our DAW. This, there's two ways that you could potentially have issues. You could distort by getting too hot a level into your DAW here, or you could distort on the input stage here, uh, like thus, if I do this, horrible. <laughs> if, I, if I had this, say I had it here and it was okay, but I brought this up a little too hot, again, same thing. So this kind of nice area here, where you get a bit of a sound of the pre being, uh, I'd say running a little hot, you know, you're getting, you're getting the circuits to work well, and just back off the gain here, and we're getting a pretty even, nice even level. And this, the way it's printing in the moment, will probably allow for a, a finger style, and also for a pick. So, you know, we can get away with both. Now, in a simple home recording situation, it's great to just be able to print a DI. And, you know, with all the plugins that are available in your DAW, you could, you know, you can add distortion, you can add uh, a lot of bottom end, you can, you can do all kinds of fun things. And I think it's very important with printing a DI that you print a good, clean signal that, that you can then do anything you like with. Any questions you might have, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to answer any questions. And we, I will do be doing some more bass recording tips um, using a bass amp as well as a DI. Um, there's a little trickiness with phase alignment and stuff like that. That's why printing just a DI is pretty useful because you can treat it afterwards to whatever you want and really get some amazing tones. And um, Happy recording. Any other questions you'd like, please leave them in the comments below and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.